ChatGPT took the world by storm this year and it was only a matter of time before people started using this exact same technology to help them out with stock analysis. The problem though with using ChatGPT in its current form is it only pulls on data from up to a certain date. I think that date is September 2021. So this makes it not very useful if you are using it to try and pull some current financial data for some sort of company. I know there are some current upgrades being rolled out where ChatGPT is just plugged into the internet as it is and can give you more real-time information, but it still seems a ways away from helping you out with your stock analysis. I just tested out ChatGPT recently here um, just to see what kind of answers it would give me for a simple enough financial data request for Apple. So I asked it for the return on invested capital for the past five years for Apple, and ChatGPT confidently gave me the answer of the return on invested capital from 2018 up to 2022. Straight away I was like what the hell it shouldn't be able to give me the answer for 2022. So I just went back to chat GPT with another prompt asking me how they actually have that data and it came back and apologized for its mistake and it only has a knowledge cutoff point of anything up to September 2021. You have to really be careful about using chat GPT it's going to confidently give you an answer even if it is not sure it's correct. There is another player getting into this game and I'm sure there will be a lot more in the future but Stratosphere.io are after releasing a new tool called their FinChat AI Assistant um, and I wanted to give this a go and see what it's like. It's only like less than a week old I believe so I wanted to have a look at it for myself. They're branding it as the chat GPT for finance so it sounded intriguing so I wanted to see what it was like. So this is what FinChat looks like. It looks and feels exactly like uh, ChatGPT itself. You can just ask questions or post little prompts here into a chat and get automated AI responses. So at the moment as well, you get 10 daily credits. Um, you can use them um, just 10 a day, 10 different prompts that you can add. So that's kind of handy. You can go and actually just play around with it and try it out yourself completely for free at the moment. They do also seem to have some sort of paid program as well where you get up to 50 prompts um, per day if you pay, I think it's $20 per month. So I started playing around with it myself and asking it some simple enough questions like, can you summarize Tesla's 2022 annual report? And it gave me a nice little summary here and a lot of little kind of graphs and data points on their say their revenue, their gross profit and charts and everything like that and their deliveries in terms of vehicles um, and a lot of kind of interesting stuff in a quick enough snapshot. So, and you can see it here, they give you lots of little tables which you can copy and paste out here. They have like them split down annually and quarterly as well um, which, is, which is quite handy. Um, but then I wanted to do a bit more digging just to see are these numbers that they're giving me actually correct in the first place? So I asked another simple enough question here. What was Meta's turnover for the past five years? And again, then the output was a little bit of a narrative telling me exactly what they were for the past few years, as well as a couple of different um, different charts, um, not all specifically to do with um, their turnover. Then I wanted to actually go and just verify that these figures that they quoted were actually correct. So the first figure I wanted to verify here was Meta's 2022 turnover. So that was 116.65 billion. So now I'm gonna to go to their annual report for 2022 and just actually verify that. So I can see here, this is where they're quoting their annual figures here. So year ended December 31, 2022, their revenue was 116.609 billion. So it's fairly close. and just off by a couple of million there to what the figure of FinChat is quoting. So now let's go on and look at the 2021 figure. So they're quoting here on FinChat at 85.97 billion. And now let's go back to the annual report. And actually in the annual report, they're quoting a very, very different number of 117.929 billion. That seems to be a bit of a big error and there's obviously a lot of bugs still in this um, AI because it's so new and it's only um, I think a week or two old. Um, even just these figures here that they have in the narrative don't exactly tie out as well to the ones that they have here in the revenue breakdown on the chart. So in the revenue breakdown they have um, 113.64 billion for 2022 and if you go for 2021 they're showing 114 point. 93 billion versus the figure they were quoting up here of 85.97 billion they kind of have the figures a little bit all over the place um at the moment so if you are using finchat and trying it out just make sure for any 
I suppose information that you're using to base any financial decisions on at the moment make sure that you are double checking every one of them before you kind of make any financial decisions based on the information that FinChat is giving you. I still have fairly high hopes though for this type of technology. I think it's going to be really good for stock analysis in the future. I think every week it's been fed more and more data. So it's been fed to things like um, up-to-date financial data, earnings, calls, transcripts, annual reports, quarterly reports, popular kind of investing books and business KPIs. So it's as it gets more and more data, I'm sure it's going to get exponentially better over time and hopefully all the kind of bugs will get a bit ironed out as well. But for the moment, if you are using it, just make sure to use a bit of caution and a bit of common sense as well and you'll be fine. So that's pretty much it for my video today. Let me know your thoughts on FinChat below in the comments if you've tried it out yourself. Um, I'd be interested to know your opinion and if you plan on ever using it again in the future.